Hey guys, I know it's been a long time, but I have a scrapbooking video. Uh, it's actually a layout share. Um, sorry guys, I've been kind of absent with the scrapbooking videos. It's just, just been kind of crazy around here, but I was able to do a extra long weekend with my bestie Angie and got a ton of layouts done, like 40 some. And so here are like all the bags of layouts that I have to show you guys. So this is going to be super long. Um, feel free to like pause and go grab a drink or something. It's going to be a long video. So just wanted to show you guys these um, before I get them put away because I have pretty much, I finally got the last few albums that I was out of from Hobby Lobby and I am ready to get every single layout put into an album and have no piles of layouts. So I wanted to continue that process and I wanted to show you guys before I got these put away. So most of these, actually, all of these are Christmas layouts. So I just took um, like three fourths of the stuff I took was Christmas stuff because I had pulled that in from our shed and had them tubs in the house of all of our my Christmas supplies. So I thought I'd take advantage of that. Plus it was a Christmas season. I'm in a Christmas mood. Um, my recent pic pictures are Christmas. And so I was just motivated to do Christmas. And so I made up a whole bunch of Christmas layouts from a variety of different years and told a bunch of stories. And then I will probably put it away until next year um, and get that kind of the next holiday out, like maybe the Valentine's tub out or whatever. So um, I did take some non-Christmas stuff, but I actually left it in the car and just gr thought I'd have it there if I need, if I, sometimes I need to mix it up a little bit if I get really bored with something, but I had enough Christmas kits and collections to work with that I did not get bored and worked with it all the way through. So I left that whole bag in the car, didn't even gr really grab any other collections to work with at all so so this is gonna be a full video of just Christmas layouts and so these probably aren't really in any particular order because I just put them away um, into these bags to protect them on the way home and um, didn't really do it in a particular order and so I'm just gonna get started and show you guys what I made Let's see Okay, so the this layout is actually from this Christmas, so I got a lot of um, this Christmas um, scrapbook. I'm going to go try to go a little closer here, maybe. Make sure you guys can see okay. Um, and so this was a, a layout from this Christmas of my husband specifically, a couple of the gifts that he got. And quick, a quick note, um... The products I used, oh gosh, there's a mix of Simple Stories. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a crepe paper collection in there. It's just a variety. What I did was I kind of pulled, I brought all my kits. And then what I did was I I um, combined, like, I had two or three different collections that were very red, green, black, kind of a lot of plaid, had a lot of the plaid in there. And so I mixed those collections that looked and felt similar um, together and worked with them together. And then I did the same with some of my collections that were brighter. So maybe had pinks, turquoises, some of the different non-traditional Christmas colors in there. And I created a kit with those colors. And so I kind of went back and forth and I shared a little bit. You know, I, I kept them kind of both out. Um, but I mainly worked, you know, with one at a time. And so there were larger kits, basically, that I put together while I was there. And so there's just a mixture of lines and um, manufacturers. Um, I know there's some pink fresh, crepe paper, simple stories, kind of a variety. So I'm not going to be able to tell you like what collections. It's just such a huge mix of lots of different. Um, but anyway, so this particular one I did, I used, I have so much Christmas washi. <laughs> I have a lot. I also just pulled in, I brought a whole huge tub of just Christmas stuff I've collected over the years. So leftovers from past kits, just stuff I've bought at Hobby Lobby, stuff I bought at TJ Maxx, whatever, Christmas tags, washi, twine, all that stuff. I just brought almost almost all my Christmas stuff. And so a lot of this is a lot of that pulled into just stuff I've collected over the years. So um, anyway, uh, sticker books, those kinds of things. And so this is um, a variety of different strips of paper along with some washi interspersed in there. And then I did some embellishing, um, kind of within the, in the little, um, 
strips like between the strips and then over the photos as well so there's a cluster here with a tag a little cluster here and then a cluster up here um and so that was a fun one so this these here are actually um the background paper this is the simple stories i should have put some little bling or enamel dots in some of those um to kind of bring those out i might still do that um just to kind of bring those that background embellishment up up to the top a little bit um and so yeah so just a fun little bit my husband and the gifts that he got for christmas this year and um yeah there's that one okay i think i'm gonna create a pile back here because i don't want my computer or my phone to not what to focus on here okay this is a two pager i believe nope not nope it's not okay this is a one pager um, so just to lay out this, so this is using kind of more of that brighter, um, collection of supplies I put together. You can see a lot of pink fresh and crepe paper for sure. Um, and this is from this Christmas and I just did, um, kind of my photos, did three photos and then there's a little strip of paper back there that, um, is like pink and red and then did some just embellishing kind of throughout the layout here. So my girls, you know, like this Christmas and actually last Christmas had on pretty wild pajamas just because like the pajamas have kind of followed suit with the ugly sweaters. So there's a lot of really funky Christmas pajamas out there. And so my girls have like llama pajamas and these this bright blue with black and red. And so it was nice to um, it was nice to be able to pull in uh, these brighter uh pieces to scrapbook those photos because they definitely didn't really mesh with the really deep red and green and black color scheme. And so I liked having kind of the brighter colors to intermix with the brighter colored photos. And this is a good example of that. And this is actually, let's see, um, this is kind of a two-pager. I'll show you the actual scrapbook layout first. So there was a Pink Fresh collection and one of the newer Christmas collections that had a lot of royal blue in it. And I love that because my youngest, this Christmas and last Christmas, almost all of her Christmas photos are taking, are, were taken wearing these pajamas. And so um, I really appreciate having those kind of different colors in these winter and Christmas collections. And so um, here I just had a picture. I, this layout, I focus on one particular gift, um, cause it kind of had a backstory to it and, um, kind of did a series of photos of her opening that gift and then just embellished here, here, and then up here. And if you can see, I did put some little blinks. I <laughs> did discover I have so much bling cause I had packed a whole bunch of like red, white, and green and blacks with my Christmas, Christmas, um, supplies and then of course I have all those colors with my regular supplies <laughs> so I just always I have so much bling and so um I had kind of fun using some of the little white ones crystals um and kind of putting some in the middle of the snowflakes in the background paper and um by the bows and the little gifts so that was just fun to do I like kind of um dressing up the backgrounds a little bit with with bling and that kind of thing and then I did also if you notice I won't point it out every time I did I kind of came back to splattering with the um with the uh um, spray mist I haven't pulled that out really in a long time and so I mean very rarely rarely so I try to make an effort to use I had like a red color and a couple greens and some of my golds and I just kind of pulled those out and tried to use those um and so you can see some of that splatter there and then up here as well and so I use some wood veneer um I think these are from pink fresh an older collection that I had and uh, I just intermixed the red and the blues um, in there. So I'll kind of give you a close-up of the clusters there. Hopefully the lighting is okay for you. So yeah, so we um, normally do uh, like a Friday through a Tuesday because I usually have to work on Wednesday. Well, Wednesday was New Year's Day and we made a decision to close our shop on New Year's Day for the holiday. 
And so we decided kind of midway through to extend it one more day. So we were together, we got there Friday, late Friday, and we were there all the way. We didn't come home until Wednesday. So we had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so four full days of scrapbooking, a little bit Friday night. Um, and it was awesome. I got so much done. It was so fun. So um, we thought we'd take advantage of a little bit of a longer break since she was on Christmas break and I had a little extra time off that I normally would. So that was awesome. And we had a little bit of a blizzard while we were there, which was perfect because we could hunker in and not feel guilty about going out and doing anything. And so that was fun. So this layout is accompanies the last two layouts I showed you. So this will go in with those. They're just kind of the other photos of them opening gifts. And I did some journaling, kind of general journaling. Uh, this specifically about Mallory's what she wanted in the gifts that she got. Use some of the fun pattern paper that kind of matches that same color scheme that I used with the prior layouts and embellished those up with some stickers and puffy stickers. And then the back then focuses on my other daughter. And, um, and then like, or yeah. And then like, so her, the rest of her photos and one of my husband and one of my dog, some random photos. So just kind of the rest of the opening presents type of, uh, pictures that I had and so they'll this will just go in with I didn't need to scrapbook every single one individually and so I kind of focused on a couple of stories I wanted to tell and then was a little bit more general and with putting this in with um, the specific layouts so that will tell the overall story as much as possible um, and I think this is where I was I had a little extra star I'm thinking this is probably where that was okay so this is one actually from a few years ago and just ha I just found came across these funny pictures and here I'm gonna be real with you guys real with you guys for a bit so I had um two or three Christmases I Christmases I hadn't even touched um since in the last couple of years um because I really miss having Christmas in our old home I miss winter there although I don't miss the driving piece of it but I miss experiencing the snow and those things there and I miss decorating for Christmas in that home so I really kind of haven't scrapbooked those Christmas those last couple of Christmases that we were there because I it was hard it just what it was hard and so finally I'm like okay you know what this is like life is good. We're moving on. Like this is what this is what was meant to be, kind of thing. And just decided I'm gonna pull those babies out. I'm gonna get them scrapbooked. I know that's gonna be hard because I'm gonna miss looking at these pictures. I'm gonna miss that home. Um, but we've created an awesome Christmas experience in this home, and it's good. So, um, so I kind of forgotten about these pictures. They were actually taken on the girls' last day of school before Christmas vacation, and they had this cute Christmassy little shirts on. So I took some pictures in front of the tree, and, you know, they were just kind of being silly and goofy and cute. And um, and so I just did that as one layout, just kind of highlighting those photos. And so just, yeah, really cute. Again, they had bright colors on. They had the turquoise, the red, the black, and I just took advantage of that with the use of the colors that I used for the embellishments just went a little bit brighter um this had i made a couple of large tags with the pattern paper this pattern paper actually pulled in from a um that was fa la la no these were just from i think the kit that i had um but i did pull i brought all my six by six and six by eight paper pads that were christmas themed and i did use some papers out of those as well i was trying to get some of those used up um but just to kind of set some clusters here and here and here and here. So it's kind of made my way up. Um, and then did some splatter mist and um, yeah, just a lot of fun. So there's, I, I see definitely some illustrated faith supplies there. Is that Bella Boulevard? Is that right? Um, so I know that was in one of my, that was in the brighter um, kit. Um, that one of the, one of their recent Christmas collections was in there. So just a fun, bright, fun layout there. I like that. Okay. So then here I have, so the newest, oh, one of the newer Christmas collections I had, had a whole sticker, sticker sheet of gingerbread house themed puffy stickers. And so I wanted, I was happy to find these photos I hadn't scrapbooked yet of the girls doing a gingerbread house. And so I used those up here. 
um maybe it's just two of them there and then so here i did a 12 by 12 layout and then i just did an accompanying um divided page protector with the rest of the photos that will just go next to it and so um i didn't really i just slipped them in so i have all the photos together i could decorate the outside of this a little bit but i didn't feel like i needed to um and so uh yeah, so you can tell we're in the brighter um, set of supplies and just use some fun wood veneers and some fun strips of paper that I just layered. Um, kind of just going with the color scheme of like the turquoises and the, the olive greens that are showing up in the photos. And then the gingerbread house, of course, is super colorful. So that's fun. I'll kind of give you a close up here. Um, just did some fun tags and embellishing. And I have a ton. I still have a lot of washi. Christmas washi, a lot of Christmas twine <laughs> because Target usually always had like the awesome twine for, um, in their dollar spots over Christmas season, which is when I usually go to Target cause it's like an hour away. So I don't go very often. And so I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm using twine. I'm going to use some washi and I'm using up some bling <laughs> because I had a ton of it. And so I did really get a lot of those, um, used up. So you'll see a lot of twine, a lot of tags and twine for that reason. So there's those one more story told there and then this was from uh, a few years ago as well and this was just some selfies I taken with each of my daughters before one of their concerts and so I just did a strip up and a strip this way and um, cluster here a cluster there so these are some of these are old homemade embellishments I made a long long time ago just combining like music paper with um tool and fabric and scrap of paper and 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 uh, brads and things like that and so I had those kind of in the bottom of the bin I'm like oh I'm going to use those and so I did and then just kind of went with a the circular theme with some of the stickers that I had um in the collection of supplies I was using so um pretty simple layout there for sure I love I had a, stack, a set of these bows like there were four of them I think I got all of those used up um and just was a just a pretty pretty basic layout there and there's this one another selfie with me and the girls i think this was last year and i had on this really pretty like dark olive green sweater and so i just the girls had on like black white and red and so i just kind of used that and did a really traditional christmas colored themed or christmas color layout um i love these uh christmas like poinsettia flowers from hobby lobby so i used one of those oh brads i also have a lot of christmas brads because a lot of the lines used to always come with brads before they did the enamel dot thing and so um i that was something else i i got quite a bit used up i still have a lot but um I, i'm like i want to use up some of these brads and so <laughs> you can see i used four on this this here and um just some fun just lots of layers of fun papers and pretty papers and a doily um doilies for me always seem to just work really well for christmas layout so i definitely used a lot of doilies um splatter misted some gold and red and just like how that turned out no journaling on that one it was just um a selfie of me and the girls and there wasn't really a story so just dated that one and called it good This one's a little bit of a busier layout. So um, this was a sketch. Uh, Christy's Beautiful Life on YouTube, as she does like a sketch series. And so I know we both worked from that a little bit. Uh, just kind of went to some of her videos and, and looked at some of the different sketches and watched some of the videos. And this, was, I believe, was one of them. My, mine turned out way different. But what I liked about the particular sketch was the use of this flag. Um, here and I had these I think these were pink paisley I still have two more to use um they're just vellum flags and uh they just weren't storing very well because they bend really easy and they weren't I just wanted to get them used up so I'm like oh I'm gonna use that sketch because of that I want to use those flags up and so um I just chose this layout to be to document um 
one of my daughter's band concerts. And so I got an individual picture of her here playing her flute and then a larger group picture, um, the picture of her before the concert and then, you know, in her dress and everything. And then we, ha we take a traditional photo with two of her friends uh, every concert. And so we I had to include that on there. So this one layout kind of tells that whole story of that whole evening and you use some cork and belt embellishments I had from We Are Memory Keepers. I used up, I think, a whole, I yeah, I used up a whole package of those. I had, you know, they were like those taller packs, like six by 12. Used up the whole, I think we all but one of them. Um, so I used up a lot of those. Again, you see lots of bling and just some really fun pattern papers behind um, and then one kind of title in the middle. As you, as you know, probably by now, if you've watched my layout shares, I very rarely <laughs> use stickers. I buy them all the time, but I almost always use like a, a die cut or something as my title. It's not very um, imaginative. I know that, but it's easier and it works for me. So I probably should stop buying thickers altogether because I just don't use them very often. I did a few on a few layouts, but I just tend to do this sort of thing and um, I'm not too creative with my titles. So anyway, so there's that layout. And then this one is fun. I always like to do a top heavy layout because um, it's just different for me. It's not my go to. And so I always love it when I do it, especially like when I then put some along the bottom and kind of bring it together. It just it's just a different um, a different design. And I really like it. And so this one, just lots of fun layers of some paper, some die cuts. Um, there's a die cut there. Um, and then, uh, did the, the title up here and embellishment here. I love these globes and then just did, um, some embellishing down here just to kind of bring it together. I did some of the smushing, uh, spray ink technique. So you have some ink there. It looks kind of pinkish on the paper, which is actually okay. It was red, but it's okay. Cause there's pinks and stuff mixed in. So it worked out okay. So I really love how this one turned out. Um, it's just, um, fun color scheme and oops can you hopefully lights up okay use this fun 3d embellishment and some of these die cuts um more bling kind of scattered throughout so just a fun just documenting some time together with family and friends um, having a card night so there is that all right, bag number two. I think we have four bags, guys. So, like I said, this is going to be a long one. I think I counted, I think it was 41, I think. Um, which is a lot of really fun Christmas memories documented. So, okay, so here is this one. So, this is from that same evening, just a picture of us and our brother and sister-in-law and they were hosting the like card game night or whatever kind of a Christmas get together um and so this one I kind of chose more not about that event or that evening but about just how special it is that they are in our life and I love that we got this group of the, or picture of the four of us um taken together and so this was a sketch as well, I believe, from Christie's Beautiful Life, and it was fun to just do some fun different things with the corners and then bringing the layers of paper in from each side. Um, I just, I don't think to do that. I'm always like middle. <laughs> so it's fun to like, again, it's always fun to, to do a class or do a sketch or use inspiration because you think you come at it from a different angle and I very rarely have do do it that way. So I really like how that looks and that was fun. So this is some kind of embellishing groups um, around the photo and just really like how that turned out. Use some gold um, splatter mist and there we go. And I like that a couple of lines had navy blue in them and so just because he had a navy blue shirt and so that made it easy to kind of tie that in together not that you have to exactly match the photos but i'd like to it's just something that i'd like it to all mesh together color wise i'm sure i'm just being really too specific about it but um this is a two-pager so these we had a bunch of pictures just from playing cards i took pictures of the different tables of you know us eating the food um, I had my husband take some pictures when I was playing because I rarely, rarely get in the pictures as many of you know how that goes. And so it was fun to actually get in some of the pictures. So it was just fun to like 
just a bunch of snapshots of just all the different fun things that were going on that evening at the different card tables. And so this is, I decided to do a two page spread and get it all documented and just did some layers of paper, kind of tucked in some fun words and embellishments um, in the different layers of the strips, if you can see that. And then um, did the title where I did use stickers on, along the top and then did a couple little embellishments on each side. Um, so that was a fun one to do and a fun evening to document. And then here is one where I um, had um, hosted book club during December. And so it was just fun because we had the fireplace going and we were decorated for Christmas. And so I just took some photos that particular day. I don't usually during book club, but it was just fun. And so I wanted to document that. I just taken a picture of us kind of talking to each other and a picture of me with the book with, you can see the Christmas decorations in the back, just the coziness of it and all that, just book club in a, in front of a fireplace and that kind of deal. So I wanted to document it and I decided to do that with my Christmas supplies and so just had fun with some just fun layers of papers. Again, there's lots of blue in the photos, so it was great to have some of that blue paper in that collection, which I can't remember which one it particularly was. Um, I'm thinking it was a pink pink paisley together forever or together again maybe <laughs> collection <coughs> excuse me did some embellishing use some brads there so again just really try to use those brads and um have fun doing that so there's that one love how this layout turned out um this was just a photo of my daughter before and after her um, choir concert. And um, my girls each kind of have friends that they always take pictures with afterwards. It's kind of a tradition. And so that's this is one of hers. And so I just put those together, the before and after kind of thing. And just had some fun um, with just some embellishing. Um, used a border a border punch and just because it was a school concert so I always think that the <laughs> a notebook you know paper edge works for those types of layouts and just did some really fun embellishing with um I just did a lot of like dimension with this like use a lot of pop dots again use some brads and um gave it some good dimension just like how that turned out so there we go Right, and this is another. Um, so a lot of these pictures tend to be Christmas concerts. Um, when my kids, when I had one daughter in elementary, one daughter in high school, they had two different concerts. They, so they each had their own. And at one point, there was a band concert separate from a choir concert. <laughs> and so anyway, now I think it's combined. But anyway, so a lot of like concert pictures um, tend to make up a lot of our Christmas layouts. So this is another one. And this was before my youngest Christmas concert. And so we just always try to take family pictures because we're dressed up. Um, I'm not someone who dresses up a lot. And so it's when I actually have real clothes on um, it's, and, you know, they're all in their, in their nice Christmas dresses. It's nice to get pictures. So I uh, took a selfie and then had, you know, a picture of us taken together. And so we just were in the red, white, and black. Um, so I just kind of used the red, white, and black um, products on that. So um, there's that. Little cluster up here. Mix some enamel dots with some bling. Use some washi. Some washi down here as well. And a big old doily. <laughs> This was a fun layout. So this actually wasn't really a Christmas event. And so, um, but it was um, a get together we had actually for a birthday of a friend's husband. And it was kind of between that Thanksgiving and Christmas. You can tell the house is decorated for Christmas. And then the picture up here is we always try to do some kind of outing together during Christmas. We haven't done it every year, but we try to do something. They're actually coming over tonight for wine and a movie. Um, but usually we go out somewhere. And um, so we had cut, we were, when we took this picture, 
we were like, uh, oh my gosh, we like have a similar picture. Like actually on Facebook the next day, this picture popped up from 10 years ago. And so I wanted to, I'm like, that is such a fun thing to look at together. Like us 10 years ago and us now still getting together over the Christmas break or around that time of the year. And granted, we get together more than that, but we always try to make an effort to do that during the Chris, the school break. Um, and so it was, so I wanted to scrapbook that those two together. And so it's kind of Christmassy and, and the, the florals and the papers, um, but it wasn't necessarily a Christmas themed layout, even though our get together is during Christmas break. So anyway, it was just a fun layout to, to do. And I journaled on a tag here and just had some really fun papers and layers going on um, here and then there, and then just did 10 years in the middle with another little embellishment cluster there. So that was just a fun um, layout to document our friendship. So love how that one turned out. I know this one for sure was a sketch from Chrissy's Beautiful Life as well and just having all these tags in the background. So I grabbed a six by six paper pad and made a bunch of tags from some of the papers. And the photo was kind of a far away photo because I have a daughter who doesn't love to have her picture taken. She does, but she doesn't kind of thing. <laughs> That's hard to explain. Like I'll try to capture her and then she'll like, like mom. And then she's like, take a picture of me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I caught this picture of her playing with her new guitar she got for Christmas last year, and I'd taken it kind of from far away. And so I'm like, I'm going to just, I wanted it to kind of just fl kind of be in the midst of all the, the stuff, but I really wanted to still be able to see it. And so I put this frame around it so you can see like the focus is on her and it's also being in the middle as well. And so I use some music themed embellishments. I just use a bunch of like blingy type of things. Um, I had, I just randomly had found these paper studio cameras. And so I pulled those in just because I had that golden yellow here and it helped pull some of that golden yellow onto each side just to give it the little triangular thing. Um, and then just layered some doilies and some tags and some embellishments. So there's kind of all kinds of fun layers happening. Again, lots of twine getting used, um, which is always a good thing. So that was a really fun layout to make. Okay, so here I documented my puppy dog and the gifts she got this Christmas. And then I did um, a page protector with some of them as well. I just took a bunch of random pictures of her playing with her new toys. And so this one I focused on um, one of the toys. So I thought it was hilarious. I found it kind of last minute. It's a dog -a chino coffee coffee company, little squeaky toy. And since I own a coffee shop, I thought that was hilarious. And so, and she loved it. So I just, anyway, so I um, took pictures of her kind of, ex you know, exploring that and then playing with her other toys. And so um, just used up some of the brighter papers. Um, here I used, this was from the We Are Memory Keepers uh, cork sticker pack, this, this, and these. And then I just used it as part of the title and then created the rest of the, the title there. And I just kept the colors like, cause these will be next to each other. So I used some of the leftover papers from here to fill in these cards here and then embellished them with again, some cork. So you have the cork here and some cork over here as well. And then um, journaled and I'm back there. Nope. So super cute. So the puppy dog got documented as well. That's important too, right? All right, bag number three, you guys. Hopefully I'm still recording. Probably check that every so often, huh? Hope I think I'm good. Okay. All right, so pictures from this year, um, picture of, so even though my daughter's friends are no longer in music and band, um, they were there serving a soup for the soup supper. And so I was still able to get the, the traditional picture of her and her two friends. And so I'm hoping we can keep that up for the next two years somehow. Um, cause I want to maybe have some kind of layout that has all the pictures over the years, um, from them after their concerts. So we'll see if we get that to happen. But here I just did kind of a, uh, again, a middle section here with a little cluster up here, just the kind of my go-to and, um, 
just had some fun with some with the doily and some um, different pattern pattern papers and these little fun presents and there's that. And then this is the same concert, but my other daughter with her friends afterwards just took some pictures in the band room after the concert was over. And I kept it pretty simple, just a couple strips of paper. I backed the pictures with, with some pretty paper that kind of was a combination of these two colors. And then did some embellishing and splatter mist. And then I, you know, like to always, not always, but I like to mat white paper on a multicolor paper kind of brings it all together so the colors that are in here are showing up out here and I think it just helps keep it cohesive um I like how that looks so okay and then this is from this year as well so now this is a good example of how you can see how their pajamas for Christmas morning and Christmas Eve this year were a little bit crazy and so it's nice to have these really bright fun non-traditional uh bright colors in with these christmas collections because it just helps bring it together a little bit better and so this was a really fun one i love how this turned out um this collection had oh, was this crepe paper had these snow globes that you can put together it had was like a pack and so that was fun to do i added in some extra sequins in there before i sealed it use these fun bows that I had in my stash, probably from TJ Maxx or something, and then some tags and lots of twine. So just a fun, fun layout. Used um, these little sequins as well on the paper directly and then centered them with some different colors, um, a variety of colors of bling. Um, I love this paper back here. It's so pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. That was fun. Just That was just a... Hey girls, you know, you know, get together, get it, take a picture, and they always hug each other really tight. It's kind of their go-to um, picture when I want to take one of them together. I love that. So, love it, love it. They're too sweet. And this one, so this one was, um, I think I Instagram. I did a lot on Instagram where I actually searched for the specific paper line, and then saved some different layouts. And so this was, I know from Instagram, I don't remember who it was. Um, but I looked up this, this collection and it was like tagged, tagged that way. And so I love this. It was a way to use up the rest, the remainder of the snow globes that I had in the pack. And so I used up the entire package, um, and then just centered, you know, when the photos on one of them and it was my daughter singing a solo. I spray misted some gold in the background there and then did some clusters here and here, did some layering, paper layering and tearing um, on each the top and the bottom. And so love how that turned out there. Lots of fun. Love these bright colors are so fun. Same collection of supplies. Um, had a picture of me and my daughters with some fun aprons that are my sister-in-law uh, made for us. And so just wanted to document that. This, again, was a sketch, um, I think, from Chrissy's Beautiful Life. And just one of the papers had these squares. And they're technically numbered for, like, like December daily, but I didn't really care about the numbers. I just liked all the fun colors, and they're kind of off-kilter and just fun. And so I... Lay, uh, line those up, did the photo, and then did some embellishing, and then um, along the bottom as well here is a little bit, just a little extra interest there, so that's fun. Hello. Um, okay, this one um, is a little bit different for me. It's a darker background, which I don't normally do. Um, I did spritz it a little bit with some like silver mist that I had on hand. And this was a layout I saw, I think on Instagram, where they cut out these, there was a sheet that was full of presents and they cut out the individual pieces and then use actual twine. I love that because of course I was looking to use up lots of twine. And so I don't know if you can see that you, almost every single one has just extra twine. It gives a little bit more um, dimension and color and I just love how that turned out. And um, yeah, I don't normally do a dark color background and it's a little bit warped from the spray, but I like how it turned out a lot. So just a fun layout about my two girls <laughs> dancing to Christmas music and I got a couple snapshots and they're not really wearing Christmassy colors, but it worked out perfect because the colors had the blue and the turquoises and the pinks and whatever. 
So love how that turned out. Use some enamel dots and some other little stickers throughout, but really the presents cut out were the main embellishment. Um, so that was a lot of fun to do. Okay, so this one was fun because it was a Christmas or ugly sweater. Um, my daughter's in on the dance team, and so they one of their performances, they performed um, in their, they had, um, instead of in their dance uniform, they danced in ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> and so it was fun because I was able to really just kind of use some really fun bright supplies. I had found this. Um, trim at Hobby Lobby and I thought that was perfect because a lot of the ugly sweaters have like you know that trim all over the <laughs> sweaters and so um just kind of you know had fun like um these patterns are really fun and bright and colorful and I had this doily that had red and white polka dots on it and I used a bunch of twine here just had fun with that so uh, I just picture my daughter one of her friends after their performance um so it just turned out really fun it just felt like ugly Christmas sweater to me <laughs> when I was done with it. So this one's a little bit more formal. So pictures of um, us for their last concert, Christmas concert, and just in their pretty dresses. And I just kind of pulled these really pretty blues and reds and golds and things and um, use a flare there. And I, again, cluster here, mean stuff going on here. This is very typical. I did the the uh, title in the middle there and just a little bit of washi here and there. And so just pretty, pretty colors. I like that color scheme. These colors are really pretty. That blue is a pretty color. S still doing Christmas concerts, guys. <laughs> so these are for my oldest daughter. So I took a picture of her doing the flute. They did a special band percussion thing and then her singing. Um, so just got all three of those on one layout and just had some fun with, um, I know a lot of these embellishments are from a, a pack from Hobby Lobby that mixes, um, they're all, they're stickers, but it mixes like regular 3D sticker with like wood veneer stickers are really pretty packs and love how those turned out. So I used up quite, I used up, I think an entire package of those, um, throughout the weekend. So just did some larger layering, Used this music pattern paper, which was perfect. It was in one of the, I think maybe fancy pants collection or I don't remember. And so, um, I always like to have a little bit of that music paper on there, these music pages. Cause I think it just adds to the story on its own. Um, did some embellishing here, a little bit up here and some down here as well. And then use some washi. Super fun. And then this is my other daughter at the same concert. And again, just use that paper again. And here I used, I had a bunch of, of pa I have packs and packs of wood veneer snowflakes because I love them so much. And so I used up a whole bunch of those and centered them with flare. This is a very dimensional layout. <laughs> and then, you know, layered a couple other little flowers and die cuts um, there. And then did a little, just a little mini cluster up there. that one. All right, guys, we're on the last pile. I'm sure you guys are excited about. I can get my Christmas albums out and get these put away. And I'll probably pack them up with my Christmas supplies is my plan, I think. Okay, so another concert um, layout. I think I'm going to have them all done by now. Um, from a few years ago, again, this is just a band concert. So a couple band pictures and then a close up of her and her friends. And I used some vellum here. It just a couple of different bright patterns in the background. And cause we just have that Royal blue in here and the Royal blue. And this is one of the school colors. So I like that this paper had Royal blue there and, didn't do a whole ton of embellishing. I just think that the patterns of the papers and the vellum um, worked really well. So here we go. And then these were some Chris, I think Christmas. No, these were pre-concert pictures from a few years ago. So I did pull out, I had two collections, one from um, Authentique and another one from um, 
O it's a popular company, but they tend to be a little bit more vintage. Uh, I can't think of it now. <laughs> anyway, there are two collections that were more vintage. And so I played with that for a couple layouts, I think. Um, and I liked this because my daughter had this really pretty creamy dress on, like vintage cream dress. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to scrapbook these with this vintage collection. And so I was able to use up some of my Hobby Lobby supplies, these really cute bows, because we had some of that turquoise in there, the red and the cream and the black. So just um, use some of the pattern papers and this cream grid with some red and green in the background there. Um, just love how that turned out. And one more with that same collection of supplies. They did one or they did two or three. I think I just did two layouts with that collection of supplies. And so, again, these are from Hobby Lobby. Love those. Worked perfectly. Just had that vintage feel to them. So it worked great with these papers. And just did some layering underneath the photo and a little cluster up here. Um, super pretty. Very simple. So now we're back to kind of the brighter colors with more ugly sweater. <laughs> so my daughter and one of her other friends um, on the day that they were them to school. And this was a, a sketch, I'm pretty sure, from Chrissy's Beautiful Life. And so I just made one big tag that has a photo and then a bunch of tags and embellishments kind of coming down from that. And then just some fun embellishment up there. And I used just some of the really fun colors, um, colored papers behind the white there. Just, just on the top and the bottom. I usually do all four sides, but sometimes it's nice just to do um, just the top and the bottom just for something a little bit different. So there is that one. Again, lots of bling. Use some of the cork embellishments. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> and some craft tags. So that was fun. I like that one. And this was some pictures of the actual dance itself. And so I had these like in my collection. I think they're actually like some. They're more of a craft supply versus scrapbooking supply, but since ugly sweaters are kind of loud and crazy, I'm like, I'm going to use them. <laughs> so just did some fun colors of paper just because there's all kinds of colors um, in their sweaters and just did some really fun, bright, glittery embellishing. <laughs> Use some thickers. It's called it the ugly sweater dance and little embellishment over here. Just bringing some of that silver over here that I had in the title. Um, and I used some silver and red stars and bling. So that was really fun. And this is a close-up of my youngest daughter who had, who also had a solo. So I did, wanted to do one close-up of her with the microphone and journal, journal about that. So just did some layers of paper and then um, a big doily picture, some layering things of some cards and stuff here, some washi. And then uh, these um, clear embellishments that I of snowflakes that I then layered on, on top of them with wood veneer snowflakes and bling. So... Sorry, it's getting kind of dark out, so I'm losing some light here. There we go. All right. Here is um, some photos of me and my youngest. Um, she had this really beautiful houndstooth coat um, that she wore during the Christmas season or to the special events like church and the concerts and stuff. And so I had this houndstooth bow I had to use in this paper and I had set it aside specifically for these photos. And so I just photographed these fun selfies of her and I. And these snowflakes I think were from Hobby Lobby and I just thought they were beautiful and a great way to kind of create a triangle. Um, and so just did some layers of papers in the middle with some doilies, um, a strip of washi, two strips of washi, and then journal down here and then did another cluster up here. Well, you can see everything okay. I love how that one turned out. So pretty. The snowflakes are really pretty. I wish I would have gotten more of them. Let's see, and then I think I already showed you the layout that went with this. I had done a layout of her, of um, this particular concert. And so this is the divided page protector that goes with that. It just got out of place. 
Okay, and then some fun photos of us playing on my daughter's new hoverboard on Christmas Day. So just grabbed some of those snapshots and, and um, documented those. This is some really fun layering of some frames and tags and embellishments um, there and just had fun with that. There. Okay. And then this is from Christmas morning of this year. Um, just them opening their stockings. So just uh, focusing on what they got in their stockings and pictures of those. Um, and then so just did like kind of did a cluster of the photos with this um, this piece of paper here. It was like cut apart or maybe in the die cut pack. I don't remember. And then just did some fun embellishing kind of throughout and then did a little cluster up there. So use some of my wood veneers I had in my stash, lots of enamel dots. Um, this is an old sticker sheet. I don't remember what, what collection it was from. Um, but yeah, here we go. And then I, whoops, I'm using supplies here. I had these pictures to put into a, um, oh, oh no. Oh, my layout just fell. Or was it? very smart about that. Oh, I was piling those up there. Okay. That's okay. So I'm going to put these, I just didn't have the right page protectors with me. I'm going to do the, um, vertical page protectors. They go up and down and I'm going to just put the rest of the uh, gift opening, um, pictures in there. So this will accompany the rest of that particular Christmas, which was this year there. So I set this aside just so I knew that, that I had a plan for them. So these pictures were from this Christmas morning, um, finding their Santa gifts and, um, just kind of layered the photos and then did some embellishing kind of just around them. Some fun pattern papers. Use up quite a, oops, quite a few of these, um, enamel buttons and some, a uh, Brad there. That was fun. And last but not least, um, this year we did not have a white Christmas, but we had a lot of fog. And so I'm like, okay, that's going to have to be good enough. And so I just documented that. We only had fog this year. Um, and just used some really kind of pretty more wintry colors. If I did get in some of that red um, and some, a bunch of snowflakes and some journaling um, bling some washi so the little my main middle cluster there and then a little cluster up here and then this paper looks like it has like snow on it um and so yeah i use lots of washi in this one three different ones looks like so that is it you guys so i think it was 41 um so guys it's a new year and i'm not gonna be cliched but i really 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 am gonna try to start doing more consistent videos um, I know I want to get back. There's, I want to get back to do, working with the kits. I want to get back to show, doing my album shares. I think people like those. It's and it's fun for me to go back and look through all the different albums. Maybe I'll do a quick Christmas album share before I put them away. If I have time, we'll see. Um, and um, yeah, I just want to get kind of things going again. And I, I know I always say that, um, I have some kind of exciting things happening on the business front a little bit. And so that may put a damper in things we'll see, but I hope to get back to, um, doing some more videos and scrapbooking more on a daily basis. Um, uh, right now I've just been scrapbooking during these weekends pretty much. Um, but I feel like I'm getting things organized here in a way that will help me be more organized and get things done here as well. It's just, uh, finding the time and being motivated to do it versus something else. Um, but you know, honestly, even if I don't scrapbook at home on a daily basis to get 40 layouts done in a weekend in one getaway, that's still meaning I'm getting, um, say we do it four times a year. I'm still getting, you know, a hundred to 150 layouts done a year. So I'm totally okay with that. Like if that's how it's going to be for a while, I'm good with that. So, um, it just makes the videos super long 
instead of often, right? <laughs> um, but I'm hoping you guys aren't too incredibly bored. I hope that you guys all had a great Christmas and New Year's and that 2020 treat, treats you all well. And um, I am excited to get these organized and put away and to get um, Christmas put away <laughs> and kind of get things back to normal, get back to normal routine. Um, I'm sad that the break's over, um, but we're, it's, you know, it's time to kind of get back to regular life, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate it so much. Hope you enjoyed this super, super long video, uh, but they were fun to, to look through again. Um, but we'll be back soon. Thank you guys. Happy scrapping. Bye-bye.